Good morning everybody, this is Sam from October CMS. Welcome to this video where today we'll be going over how to create a self-managed menu system using the power of the nested items content field. So without further delay, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so crack open the editor in the backend panel of October CMS. And in the left hand side, you should see a menu item called Taylor. And under that, it'll say blueprints. So open the menu next to blueprints, select new blueprint and create an entry type. Now, since this will act as a container to store our menu items, but we also want to have multiple menus, let's call this blueprint menus.yaml. We'll also give it a, a unique identifier or a handle called site slash menus. The name is a singular name, so name it menu and then click save. This will assign a unique identifier for this blueprint and then click save and migrate to migrate the database tables. You should also notice in the main menu under content, you now have a menu item here where you can open this container and view the contents. To customize this, go back to the editor, create a new node called navigation. We'll give it a label of menus and assign it a custom icon. And we'll use the sitemap icon for this. Click save and migrate. Then take a look at the menu and you can see that our container has been customized with a different icon and a different label. So open the menus item in a new tab and here you can see the management screen for our menu definitions. Alrighty, so let's create our first menu. Click on the new menu button. Then we'll give this menu a name. Let's call it main menu. We can also give it a description. So this is the main menu used on every layout. And you can also see it's generated a slug for us here. Now this will be useful a bit later on, but let's go ahead and save this. And now you can see our main menu has appeared in our management screen. Let's define the menu items that belong to each menu. So return to your editor. Make sure you have the menus blueprint open. There should be an item there called fields. And there's an existing field called description. That's what we saw on the management screen before. So let's change this to menu description. And we'll also place it under a tab called description. Next, below description, create a new field called items. This field should also have a tab called items. Then give it a label called item. And the type of this field is nested items. We want this to be full screen. So for the span field, type in adaptive and then give it a new node called form. This allows us to define nested form fields for this particular item. So we'll type in fields. The first field should be called title and that should have a label of title along with a type of text. For validation, we want this to be required and then below the title field, we'll add our URL, which does the same thing. So we'll give it a label of URL and it should also have a type of text. Now click save and migrate, and this will commit those changes to the database. Back at the menu management screen, open the main menu that we created earlier. Then select the items tab, and you should see that there is a create item button. Click that, and then create your first main menu item called home page. Click the create button. And now you can see we have a new item that belongs to the main menu called home page. Create a second menu item. Let's call it about page. And we should create a third one. Let's call it contact us. Next, you can see that you can move the menu items around by clicking this handle. So if we want the about page to come after the contact us page, just click on the drag handle and then drag it down. 
Okay, so now it's really starting to come along here. So the next thing we probably want to do is have the ability to nest menu items. So let's say we want the about page to live underneath the contact page. Now you can't do that by default. It's not enabled by default, but the nested items field type actually supports this. So if we return to the editor and we've got our menus.yaml blueprint open, uh, for the items field, see where we have nested items. We can include a property here called max depth and we can set the maximum depth for these items when we're nesting them in a parent child association. So if you set that to zero, it will just be unlimited. You can just have an unlimited depth of menu items. But in this case, we just want to have a structure of say uh, two. So we'll have a parent and a child. So set that to two and then click save and migrate. Now returning to the menu management screen, if we refresh that page, you should see that you can now click and drag, but also drag underneath uh, several items. So you can not only change the, the order of the menu item, but you can also nest it underneath. So there you go, guys. That's how you can get started building a menu system using October CMS. It's so quick and easy. All you have to do is set up a basic blueprint file, and these files are stored on the disk as well. They're not exclusive to the back end. So you can use your favorite editor if that's what you prefer to do. Um, but as you can see, it's very simple to generate back end user interfaces. So join us for part two, where we render the menu in the front end using a theme uh, that covers the markup generation and the use of components. So look out for that video. But for now, that wraps up our session for today. So take care and goodbye.